This is Jack Jackson back again talking about some discrete probability distributions. And now we're going to talk about parameters for these discrete probability distributions. So remember back in our descriptive statistics unit, we talked about describing interesting characteristics of a set of data uh, that could represent a sample or a population. Uh, these descriptions were called statistics for a sample or parameters for a population. But we can think of a probability distribution as representing a population, and we can describe the distribution um, of probabilities as we would the distribution of items in a uh, population. And we can do this with most of the same parameters we study for populations in our unit on descriptive statistics. For example, we can describe the center of a distribution by identifying the mean, median, or mode. And we can identify the variability of a distribution by its standard deviation and variance, for example. So in this video, we're specifically going to talk about actually mode, mean, uh, well, mode and mean of a discrete distribution. So if we want to describe the center, we can first of all, we could talk about the mode. And remember, a mode in a data set was the one that had the highest uh, frequency or the highest relative frequency. Well, probabilities are like relative frequencies. So the mode will be the x value, the value of our random variable, with the highest uh, probability value. So these p of x's are the pdf of x's. And so we see this one at 0.4. The most probable one to pick is 11, so 11 is the mode. On the graph, that's the one with the highest bar. It's the x value of that, not the y value, not the probability, but the x value is what it is. So the 11 is the mode. Well, that's pretty easy. Now let's review a little bit of computing the mean from a frequency table. So just, I think we've done this before, but let's do it again. Well, if we want to, if this is a population now, we want to add these up. Now, if you notice, there are um, five twos, four threes, two fives, and five elevens. If you add these frequencies up, that's 16 different numbers that we actually have to add together. There's two plus two plus two plus two plus two plus three plus three plus three plus three plus five plus five plus five elevens. Now, shorthand for adding the same thing over and over again is multiplication so they can think of this as 5 times 2 or 2 times 5. We've got 3 times 4, 5 times 2, and 11 times 5. In this case the number of parentheses is how many times it's repeated. In other words it's frequency. And we can get this to work out. Okay. But another way we can do it is to divide is to distribute the 16 into each of these parentheses. So this is 2 times 5 sixteenths plus 3 times 4 sixteenths, 5 times 2 sixteenths, and 11 times 5 sixteenths all added together. Well, the 5 sixteenths is the probability that we got a 2. The 4 sixteenths is the probability of a 3. It's the relative frequency or the probability of choosing one of those guys. And, of course, that's just the value of the PDF function. So this leads us to a way of... of finding this would be to figure a relative frequency for each one of those, then multiply the x times the relative frequency and add those up, and that value would be the mean. We actually did this earlier in the first unit, and now we're just applying that here. So we're going to define that uh, to be how we find the mean of a discrete probability distribution. So uh, it's so uh, in this example, the mean turns out to be 7.8. So here's our, here's our probability. So what we do is we take our x times our PDF. So 4 times 0.2 is 0 0.8. 6 times 0 0.3 is 1.8. 8 times 0.1 is 0 0.8. 11 times 0.4 is 4.4. Add those up, you get 7.8. And that is the mean mu of this probability distribution. Another thing this is called is it's called the expected value of x. So on average, we would expect whatever the x is measuring, we would expect it to be about 7.8 on average. Okay, so it's called the expected value. And so how do we define the expected value of x or the mean? We take the x value times the probability of that x value and do this for every single possible x value and add them up. And so that's the expected value of x or the mean. 